after the summer wildfires halted Kelowna Comic Con in its tracks, three months later they've managed to put the show together at Rutland Centennial Hall for all cosplayers, fantasy, TV show and movie lovers to enjoy. We were watching the fires roll over the hill and it was a moment of dread for us. So we just saw that coming over and we said, well, we can't run it. So we came together and we found a new venue for just a little bit of a smaller event. The community really came behind us. A lot of the vendors have uh, pushed their tables off to their next uh, to the next event and uh, many of them are here today. And uh, just a lot of the uh, attendees just have been so amazing. Cosplayer Ken McKay, who's won several cosplay awards, says it's an incredible feeling to be able to share a space with people who have the same passions for comics and entertainment. Being able to put on a costume and be able to be around people that can enjoy being in a costume. Typically, it's always been Halloween, but it's becoming more and more mainstream how People and cosplay just like getting dressed up in whatever fandom you have. For me, it happens to be World of Warcraft fantasy stuff, but seeing people doing anime is just as cool to me. It's cool to see people dressed up as whatever character that they're actually having fun doing. And it's awesome seeing how people get into it and, and really live the character that they're playing. <laughs> Despite a smaller event this year, organizers say cosplay is really catching on in the Okanagan. Back in, oh, I want to say 2016, we did our first show under a different name and it was at the Parkinson Rec Center and it's been just exploding since. Our first year we had about 700 people through the doors and now we've uh, settled in at the Capital News Center where we are just growing rapidly. The Kelowna Comic Con event will be back for a bigger and better show in June of 2024. I'm Braden Ursel in Kelowna for Castanet.